Did I have this four foot by 10 inch board? I picked up at Lowe's, it's pine, and I'm gonna be using the color Higgins Lake by Wise Owl. I'm using a foam brush that I pick up at Lowe's and I'm gonna roll on my paint. And I did two coats. Once that was dry, I found this little plastic lid. I just wanted, you know, any circle around that size. And I'm using a chalk pencil. I'm sorry it's hard for you to see my drawing, but I made a half circle on the edge and I'm drawing in some petals. And I will have a PDF available if anybody's interested. Just give me maybe a day to pull that together. And now I'm putting a circle at the bottom of my board and again adding petals. The chalk pencils work great because they're easy to cover with paint or you can remove it. And now I'm going to start with Snow Owl for the center of my flower. And this is filling in that circled area. And I did that on both flowers. And then I'm going to fill in my petals with Goldenrod by Wise Owl. You can find both these paints in our two ounce containers at chocolateatfancy.com. We do have kits available. I just wanted to pick a very simple um, image that I feel like anybody could do, even if you traced my uh, PDF as a welcome board for your outside. Once I filled in all my petals with the goldenrod, I allowed everything to dry. Now I found this stencil, it's the Sign Shop by Folk Art at Michael's. It's a new line of stencils, they are mesh stencils. This particular package came with two different types of um, buffalo check, one's a thinner and one's a fatter. And I went with the fatter image, um, used the same lid to cut out a circle and then took my adhesive mesh stencil and put it in the center of my flower. Now I'm going to be using um, our chalk paste by A Maker Studio. Um, the downside to this is it's not really permanent. You could use um, our ceramic paint or her ink. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and use the paste. And what I did at the end, and I didn't show it, is um, I used some Rust-Oleum satin uh, finishing spray. I used that first and then top coated with the varnish. I'm going around the edge of this with my Wise Owl um, black. And again, I'm waiting for my stencil to dry to finish the other flower. I'm using this Welcome stencil from Hobby Lobby. They're very inexpensive. They're about $5.99. And once finished, I use black with a foam roller. And I'm connecting all the letters. It's not necessary, but I do think it's a nice finish. And now I'm taking Wise Owl, Snow Owl, and just making these broken lines around the petals just to give it some shape and dimension. And here I'm doing that in the lines on the second flower as well. And then I'm going to go in with my cleaned mesh stencil that dried completely. And again, I'm using the Maker Studio chalk paste. And when I lifted this um, and waited for it to dry for 24 hours, I sprayed it with a finishing spray by Rust-Oleum, just that area because the chalk paste is not permanent and I wanted to make sure that it was adhered. Now, once that completely dried, I added my Wise Owl varnish, three coats, and I think I'm gonna be fine with that. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. 
For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at ChalkItUpFancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, ChalkItUpFancy.com. Thank you so much.